an entire episode about economy, stocks, currency, inflation, buy high, sell low. That's right. You heard me in that order. Something about that scammer was telling us that the value of silver was going to stay like roughly the same, even though the quality of silver was increasing. But then I think the idea is that at a certain point, the currency would then change over and whoever is on top of it the fastest can become super rich. I think that was pretty much the idea of what was going on last episode. Also, a lot more horror scenes. A lot of people are angry at Joe, Precious Anime, for him pronouncing uh, hollow as hollow. I've been pronouncing it hollow too. Should I be calling it Horo? Is it, is it Horo? Am, am I basically calling Naruto like, not like Naruto or like Sasuke, like Sasuke? I don't know. Anyways, let's begin today's video. Horo purple. That's right, not hollow purple. Horo purple. I was going to say Isekai copy paste map, but no, it's not. Also, it's not Isekai. This is native Isekai. Yeah, she looks like she's in her mid-teens. Why does she look like she's in her mid-teens? It's just the body type, right? She's old as fuck. She's a grandma, right? Why couldn't it have been a MILF Horo, man? I just imagine MILF Horo instead. Shippo! Shippo family! Mahoka! Is she a little jealous? Is she a little sad about that? That people forgot her? I don't know. I'm expecting all these places to like um worship Jesus Christ or like whatever religion they have, right? Because they made a distinction between right like uh the the god and pagans and whoever worships you know Horo like the wolf god, right? Their their fantasy lore. That's like a pagan, right? Flag, flag, flag. I hope we get drama today. Port town and sweet temptation. Look at that tail move, bro. Look at that rump. Horo likes apples? Horo liked, uh... It wasn't mac and cheese. It was just potato and cheese, right? I don't think she gives a fuck right now. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, oh, yeah, that's crazy, bro. Oh, yeah. That's wild, bro. That's crazy, bro. She's just looking at the fucking apples. She's just watching at the apples. Oh, no. The apple's going away. No, the apple! They're gone. The apples. Again, no CGI horse and carriage. Amazing. And he realizes how valuable it is and how scarce it is. And he's like, fuck! God damn it! We gotta do it for the wolf girl. Yeah, just get it. Fox or wolf? Hold up. Spice and wolf. It's wolf. What the fuck am I talking? It's not called spice and fox. What am I talking about? I forgot almost for a second. I was like, hold on one second. What's the name of this anime? Spice and? No. Bad. Mine. Don't touch it. She's probably not lying. She can probably make a return on that investment to that single coin of silver. She is. Her animal instincts just kick in. Panting, wagging tail, mine. This is the devil's fruit. You know, in, isn't there a sh in, in like that show called Death Note, right? You see like that, um, like a death god thing always eating an apple, right? Isn't that the signature fruit in that anime? What is, what is the correlation between an apple and the devil's fruit in return of religion? Because like in the Bible too, right? There's the forbidden fruit, but it's not depicted as the apple, is it? What is the connection between apple and like evil or like devil back in the day? It's a sweet temptation. That's the title drop. Hmm. What an interesting line. What did she say? You may lose many things due to greed, but you gain no benefit from, from abstinence. So if you're greedy, and if you're too ambitious, and you over you know, extend your boundaries, you'll lose things. But 
you also don't gain anything if you're scared of being greedy and you retain and you just do nothing and stay in abstinence. So wise. After every time, she just fucking eats like apples and just goes like, <laughs> Actually, that's Tensu. She is indeed the wise wolf, guys. You're right. Negotiate time. Art of the deal, no. Push it up to 200, then meet halfway there. That's right. It's scarce. It's hard. No one else is getting it. This is a rare commodity. What you gotta do in the art of the deal, whenever you guys are getting your big boy jobs, and if the recruiter is telling you a certain number, let's say you got offered $60,000 a year or something, right? Maybe you should take it. I don't know what the job market's like, but I'm just talking the context of negotiation. And let's say you know that the market rate should be actually 75,000. So then are you going to tell the recruiter, hey, I don't want 60K, I want 75K? No. You say, I want, hmm, 85. Maybe even 90. Just be a little cheeky depending on how confident you are. And then they'll say, hmm, we can't go that far. How about we meet some more half? 75. And then you try to push 80? 77.5. 78. We got a deal. Boom. Figure out the number you want. Figure out the margins beneath and plus where the number you want. And meet in the middle. But that middle was always the goal from the beginning. Think, guys. Horo has such an intense look. Higher! Higher! 200! That's right! You're out, you're short selling yourself! Hmm. <laughs> no! There she goes, there she goes. The wise wolf, negotiate time. Notice what? Is Hodo gaslighting? Wait, 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 wait. Please refrain from such bullying. And then Lord's is like... Oh, okay, I'll play along with it. I'll play along with it. Let him know the thing that I don't know about. What's going on? She's been fucking sleeping in this shit. She just have Horo fucking scent all over it. She also probably doesn't even fucking shower. Stinky Horo smell on these pelts. Ew! What is it? The apple? Hold up. I thought this show was about teaching us about economy, not about how to fucking scam the market. Did Horo fucking do something with the apples? And made the felt, you know, the pelt smell better. And now this is like a more rare commodity. And now you can fucking sell this shit. But the moment they fucking wash this shit, the smell's gonna go away. What do you fucking mean? Cap? She lying? But who cares? The animals ate so much fruit that the smell extended onto the fur. So these are really rare pelts. You need to now sell it at an upscale. If this dude fucking listens and gets scammed, he deserves to get scammed. <laughs> you idiot! It's resilient, it smells great. Oh, yo, she's a fucking salesman. Yeah, you get all the girls, bro. Good point. You don't. Horo is good to then mention to him what price do you want again? Always let the other side say something first. Never give them a number. But then if you're in that position where you're being told how much you want, then you can kind of counter by saying, what's your budget? But in this context, because we're trading goods for money, it doesn't really work. I'm talking about like salary negotiations whenever you're doing like white collar jobs after you get out of college. Nego recruiters, you know, the hiring managers, they'll give you a number and then they'll say, is there an expected salary that you're expecting, right? And then you say, hmm, instead of giving a number, never give them a number. Don't even give him a range. You ask him, well, if I have these data of the market rate salaries for these similar positions in this area, but also 
what is the budget allocated for this role? So suddenly you put the ball in their hand and now they have to give you an expected range that you can work with. Always make the other side say the number first and then work around that. 400! <laughs> this wolf is fucking just preying on this human in broad daylight. Actually, it's not outside, but you know what I'm trying to say. Usually a wolf will be fucking feasting on a human because it's like a predator. But right now, this wolf girl is just destroying this guy. This even tactic right here. Oh, Aruji. What about a different trading company? Oh, if this guy's too, you know, if he's gonna be penny pinching, we'll take our shit elsewhere. Makes the other side get desperate. Oh no, I need to lock in. Discount sale right now or never, bro. <laughs> what were the what was he gonna trade at in the beginning? Like 140 or something? We basically got 210. Bro, we basically got like a 50% increase then, right? 132? Yeah, roughly, right? Damn, bro. Double her. I bet that she could have pushed it even further. She could have fucking pushed it to 400 and met it 300, bro. But goddamn. Scammer. I love this. Economy my ass. We're just doing the art of the fucking deal. We're negotiating and scamming, bro. Now we can buy more apples for her. You're right. <laughs> now with the extra money. <laughs> my treat. My treat. <laughs> she did play him like a fiddle, man. Lawrence had no idea what's going on. So someone's done this before in the past. I used the same method as a sharp-witted merchant that once visited the village. I wonder if this is hinting towards anyone that we know, but I'm not really sure. Wonder if we know that person. Yo, they're just fucking eating beans. <laughs> she's just fucking eating. She's just eating green beans, bro. Scam. Yeah, scam. It's his fault for falling for the trick. <sighs> I mean, it's a brutal world out there, man. It's a cold, calculating world out there. And if you fall for, you know, a scam, that's kind of on you, right? Is it in our best interest to be as ethically and as honest as possible? No, because in the name of capitalism, in the name of making money, you either are being played or you're the one playing. So I guess it is a skill issue on his end, right? He should have done the due diligence. He should have been intelligent enough to sniff out exactly what's going on, call her out, and then demand a lower price. Or else threaten that these couples are going around selling fraudulent you know, pelts. That's what that guy could have done, but he got played. <laughs> Are they hiding it? ま、税連の話にどんな辛くり yeah, which coin was it? Are you scamming us? Are you lying? I guess from some info I gained from a mining town I used to live in. Ah, a friend of mine's friend's pet's owner's uncle's stepbrother's cousin that I used to know worked at this place and his co-worker told us this, so... I don't know. Nah. He's getting pressured. He's getting pressured. Terrible poker face. Hmm. So he was being honest there. 10%? Call him out. それで決済日は来年の春の大一の水切り上げは年内に来るはずです。半年後か。景色な契約を。分かった。では我々の儲けに。乾杯。ホロでも正義的だよ。Wonder so many different silver coins here. They all look the same, but basically it's like the face, right? There's like a flying bird here, there's some kind of king, a different kind of king, the crown over here. 
some dude with just hair. So many different silver, bro. Which one to come? Uh, which one's gonna come on top? Look at the fire in that eye. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I love how in the beginning she was so like determined. <laughs> and then later as there's too many and she's forgetting her ear goes down and the tearwag also starts to slow down. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many goddamn same silver coins. The powerful in the church keep minting new type of coins. Even back in the day, even in this world, the church just has such full control, bro. Tax exempt status. They get to mint the new type of coins. The church is fucking broken. And she's sleeping. <laughs> Oyasumi? Still don't trust him. Well, maybe he's a good guy. Maybe I'm being too judgmental. So, this guy wasn't scamming? Uh, we don't know yet, right? There is no proof. But what Lauren said in the bar about how he did not have 100% confirmation on whether his intel was correct or not. And because it wasn't 100% confirmation, it gave Lawrence the assurance that, okay, you're probably not scamming if at least you're not saying this is an absolute. That's all we're going off by. Still don't know. He could be, right? But it's going to take a lot of time to figure out what's going to actually happen. Oh, in the value of the coin that you just kind of make up more important sounds like crypto sounds like nfts more food for Horo? that's probably gonna be thumbnail she's so goddamn cute whenever she fucking needs so basically this show is this right we'll be walking around and there's gonna be some quote-unquote boring moments and then Horo finds food cute Horo. everyone fucking loves it and then there'll be some moments of trade and then Hodo's gonna pop off and those are the cool moments. That's what I'm kind of... We're, we're seeing some kind of patterns here happening. But we're hoping that it's Trenny, right? Yes. We're hoping that Trenny is gonna fucking moon. Printing silver coins to beat their rivals. Because the other people, okay, okay, because they're trying to print the coins, right? It kind of makes sense. They're trying to like swallow them whole. That sounds weird. But the scammer might not be scamming and we might have judged the book by its cover. Right, that's the other thing. She can tell who's lying, right? But the lying is not perfect. What's the exact limitation again? She says that she can kind of figure out when this person is lying or not, but it's not 100% guaranteed. Were there more details on this lie detection beyond that? <laughs> she cares about her opinion of us? Oh. So people are cutting the purity of silver and gold. Basically, let put let put less silver in it and like cut the coin so that it looks like the same coin, but there's less silver content, so they can print more coin. You gotta do like weight scales and everything. They'll cut and print. Pretty much, the wise wolf. Can Hodo teach me how to fucking day trade? Fucking options? Puts in fucking shorts, bro? Hodo should teach us how to fucking day trade, man. Imagine if Hodo was in real life and she's a professional fucking day trader, bro. <laughs> Ma'am, will you marry me? Hodo! <laughs> the Riz. Perhaps becoming my wife? Bro is moving fucking fast! I wonder what Hodo thinks about this. Hmm. She's teasing, hey! That's my wolf, bro! Did she like... Did she like kind of teasing Lawrence to see if he would get jealous and if he would make a move? And then Hodo was like, hmm, 
Okay, this Lawrence guy, he actually kind of acted up and he was like, all right, get your hands off me. Okay, is that, is that, is that that? I don't know. Oh, I'm not sure if, I, I don't know, because like romance is not really developed, but like she has some interest, right? So like right now it's like a cheeky play, but like, all right, if I kind of tease him and make him jealous, is he going to make a play? Isn't that fucked up that girls do that? No, no, no. Stop, stop and think about this for a second and put it in a real life situation. Imagine a real life situation where you're crushing school or something at work. They would do this shit and flirt with another guy to make you That's a terrible thing to do, bro! Well, she's a fucking monster, man! Okay, we got the same type of coins. So you can melt the coins to make it pure, you know, the, the silver melt, and then you can kind of check the quantity of silver there, but then the coin is done, right? You just, it's a lot of fucking money. I'm sure that's fucking illegal too. I don't know, if you like rip up paper in real life too, right? Obviously they're not gonna fucking arrest you, but it is illegal to just like destroy cash. How are you gonna tell? <laughs> Lawrence is just getting cocked! Lawrence is just getting fucking cocked by a horror teasing, bro. Look at this poor man's face, dude. What the fuck? Magic. Okay. All right, it's over there. She, 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 she shook it. <laughs> but like her ears are different. I mean, she can fucking tell a lie sometimes. So the ear can determine the purity, the amount of silver in a coin to determine if it's cut or not. There's a response there. Shut the fuck up. You're fucking trolling me. Bro is so fucking... He's like... Dinner please, dinner please. So she does know. Hold up, hold up. This is confirmation. That she did know, and we lied to him so that he doesn't know about her super OP powers. Lawrence knew because the ear flicked. Gotcha. It was intentional, though. Males are all jealous idiots. This is a blanket statement, but she's kind of right. But it's not just all males. It's like pretty much mankind, right? It's just like humans, right? It's just humans are all just jealous idiots. There's no like gender. It's like, oh, only girls, only guys. Like everyone at the end of the day, like who hasn't felt like a jealous idiot? There it is! All males are jealous idiots and females are idiots who feel happy about such things. She was happy that Lawrence was acting a little jealous. The, you know, does you care about me? What are you going to do if I start flirting with this guy? Mm. See, at least she's brutally honest. Yeah, which one was cut? So they have been cutting the amount of silver. Yes. To increase the supply of silver. Did Zedan lie? Or did he just get fed the wrong information? I don't know. Unison Capital! We need, to, we need to buy the dip! Horo, think of something. Horo will think of something, and we'll figure it out, and then Zedin's gonna profit with the 10%. Easy. May happen. True. Those are highly undervalued silver coins, right? It'd be in his best interest to return that and get better ones. Very well played by Zarin, man. It shouldn't be common, right? Yeah. Okay, we're on top of the tree right now, guys. We need to change our perspective of thinking. Horo is! Someone else is making Zeren go to do this shit. Who's the puppet master? And that's the episode. Do you guys feel your brains expanding as you learn about money? Stonk go up, stonk go down. So basically, 
the summary of today's episode, and I don't fully understand. Well, the, the ending part is basically, we don't know which silver coin we need to kind of side with, right? Because we were under the assumption that the training one was going to moon, right? It's going to mint all that shit. But that same one is the one that's being cut, right? I'm not really sure. Basically, some silver coins are being cut in the amount of silver content. And because it happened, this is pretty much confirmation, right? Wait, which coins were these? These were... These are the training coins, right? I'm not completely sure. Because I, th I thought the understanding was, if you cut the amount of training coins, then that's sign that people are trying to print more trainee silver. And there was the discussion about how whenever a side is suddenly printing a shitload of fucking coins, try to swallow up the other to dominate the market. I thought that was like a good sign, but maybe I didn't completely understand this. The significance of the old to new trainee coins of silvers here being cut is, is, a sim is, a, is a sign that Zeren was lying, but not really. It was someone else behind the scenes controlling Zeren. And yes, you bring up a very good point, Woozy, about how someone, there might be a puppeteer basically making people like Zarin spread the rumors to kind of manipulate the market. So there's a puppeteer behind the scenes at the end of the day. Another really nice point is kind of like the negotiation part, right? The negotiations of Huddle. And, and was it really negotiation? It's sales, right? At the end of the day, you're trying to get your best deal. The other side is trying to get their best deal, right? That's just business, right? And she just basically scams him. Look at these furs. It smells like apples. It's really rare. It can't even rip. You should buy it for a higher price. Oh, you don't want it? We're going to leave now. Boom. Got him. The art of the deal. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you did enjoy the reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.